Welcome to Thunder Bay. This is a city in northern Ontario named after the thunderbolt shape it has on Lake Superior. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top 10 places you can visit in and around Thunder Bay. We're starting off in Hillcrest Park, which is near the main city center. It's a nice park where you have a nice view of the sleeping giant and you can just relax here and enjoy the view. The next spot we have is the Terry Fox Lookout. This is about 4 kilometers west of the spot where he stopped running. He ran for 143 days and 5,373 kilometers before the cancer spread and forced him to stop running. After this, we head over to Kakabeka Falls. These falls are located at a provincial park so you can either go inside and explore the area or just enjoy the waterfall for a few minutes free of charge. In the city, there is a nice place on the lakefront called Prince Arthur Landing and Marina Park. It has a great view of the sleeping giant and it also has some nice places to eat at. If you're here, you have to head to the sleeping giant. You can either do the 22 km hike that takes you to the top or you can drive to one of the lookouts. There's also a beach where you can swim at. It's called sleeping giant because from far it looks like a giant's body. Near the sleeping giant is the Weemit Canyon. This is the largest canyon in Canada and the views from here are definitely breathtaking. It is believed that this canyon was created a billion years ago, either by the weight of advancing glaciers or the large volumes of water released during their retreat. A food native to Thunder Bay are Persians. These are fried dough balls with pink berry flavored icing and they taste similar to Polish ponchki. Try it from the Persian Man, which is an iconic restaurant here. The Mount McKay Lookout is another place with a nice view of the sleeping giant. This mountain is also used by the Ojibwa for sacred ceremonies. It requires an entry fee of $10 per car. Nearby is also the Fort William Reserve, which is home to the Ojibwa people as well. The most famous restaurant in Thunder Bay is Hoido. It's a Finnish restaurant best known for its Finnish pancakes. Unfortunately, when we came here, it was closed. The last thing you can do near Thunder Bay is go to an amethyst mine. There are many around the area, some which you have to pay for and some that you don't. This crystal is common around here and you can find lots of it here on your own. That's the end for this video. Hopefully you found some of these places interesting. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.